this video we're going to show you the basic process of uh, setting up a template and downloading it uh, to the iPad and also bringing it back from the iPad. So here we are in the main menu and you can see all of my uh, time study options are grayed out because we're forcing you to create another template. So I'm going to create a new file here and I'm just going to call it uh, stock put away. So it's like a warehousing type example. All right. And we can say we're going to create that and give it a couple of seconds. I'm going to have the stock put away here. And that gives me all of my options that are active. Now, obviously, you go and define your actual template here, but I'm just going to pass it down here. So once we've got it here, we're going to say download to the device. All right. Here are our options, the iPad, the Android, and the Pocket PC. Obviously, we're going to take the iPad here. So we click on the iPad. And we find where we want to go, want it to go. So what I recommend doing is actually creating a little uh, uh, folder, perhaps where you can. Here's my Apple folder here, and I'm going to create a templates folder. This is where I'm going to store all my templates going down, and I click on save. So we've actually saved the template to our PC, not to the iPad uh, itself, uh, because what we have to do then is we have to go and we have to bring up the iTunes, which I have down here, and we have to say add here. And then we're going to go and select it from that particular folder. So we have to import it into the iTunes, if you like, which makes it available uh, to the, um, uh, here's my Apple again, here's my templates. And we're going to take the stock put away here and just going to open it here. And now it's been added in here. Now that is actually available now in my, uh, on the actual device itself. Okay, so here's my uh, main iPad screen again. I'm going to click on the uh, select template. And now we can see the available templates. And here you'll see your stock put, put away. The one we just created here is now available for me to use on the iPad. So I'd highlight this one and click on use and then follow the instructions to take the data collection uh, from the template. So now I've actually completed my, my data collection here. And um, you can see here I'm back uh, looking at the, uh, the iTunes. You can see my stock put away. I've reconnected my uh, my uh, iPad. I can click on this and I can say save to. And that'll let me put it away. Now, I, I, I recommend you create a separate folder. In this case, I've called it back from iPad. And I just click on that to open the folder. And I'm just going to uh, save it right in there. All right, and it's going to be in there now. Now I'm back to my template, and this time I'm going to go import from device. I say iPad, and I find the back from iPad folder, and here's my stock put away. So I just select it right here, and I click on the open, give it a couple of seconds, and here's all the data I've collected during my time study right here. Right, as if I typed it in manually, I can then go to the main menu, generate reports, and we get access to the full library of standard reports that come with the Timer Pro here. You can see it generating it right here. Okay, so you can very easily move data to and from the iPad, perform the data collection, bring it back and summarize it.